uh, my presentation was about uh, a piece of research that we conducted at MPE on shared decision making in myeloma. Um, the University of KU Leuven condu conducted the research and we oversaw the research. Um, and basically the research was about looking at the various steps about shared decision making and identifying barriers and facilitators to shared decision making uh, between patients and healthcare professionals. So the piece of research was split into two phases, qualitative phase, uh, which was interviews and quantitative, quantitative phase, which was an online survey. And the main findings were that um, there is limited knowledge of shared decision making. So over half of patients didn't know uh, what shared decision making was. Um, and in general, we also found that patients are less, less involved than they would like to be. Um, and uh, we also found that in general, the different steps of shared decision making, patients um, were less likely to experience them compared to what hematologists thought uh, they were um, doing in terms of shared decision making. So we also had a discussion uh, on one particular recommendation, which is the development of a guidebook, uh, 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 shared decision making, best practice shared decision making guide in myeloma. And um, we got a lot of great feedback from different stakeholders. And one of the main barriers that, that kept coming up was that time is a big issue when it comes to shared decision making, and that there are various country specific issues that we would need to address as well.